everyone for this video I'm going to show you how to make this double swivel box and I made a three inch size box and then a four inch so you can kind of see the difference in size and I'll show you how to make this okay so for this one right here this is the three inch one and I use Prima's uh, something blue collection and I use the coordinating flowers tags um, this is the junkyard findings um, by Ingvild really pretty and um, I also use this really beautiful stencil I love this stencil uh, from Prima really pretty um, it's called um, fading floral really beautiful okay so that's how I decorated the top I also distressed it with some vintage photo. So when you remove the lid, it does the swivel like so. Really fun. So you can add, you know, candies. You can add, you know, here, here I added the coordinating embellishments of the collection. You could put jewelry. So lots of possibilities. So these are just some coordinating tags. And then some flowers, um, more tags and really fun and then just closes like so and then you just put the lid um, here's the four inch one really nice size you can see and this is also Prima's collection this is the ladybird and then this burlap flower I believe I picked this up at Michael's and then you just open it up same thing it swivels really fun I made a larger one before my older radio but I thought it'd be cute as a smaller one. It's a small um, keepsake box that you can give to somebody. Okay, so let me show you how to make these. We'll start with a three inch one first. And I'll give you the measurements and I'll put the measurements down below as well. And so let's start with this one here. Okay, so let me go through all the pieces here. So the lid this measures six and one eighths by six and one eighths, and you're going to score at one and a half on all four sides. Okay, so we'll just push in these tabs here. I'm using the Beacon Fabri-Tac glue, and I picked this up at my local Michaels. So just add some adhesive to the tabs here. So again, it makes a wonderful gift box to gift someone with. So you just build the box here. Like so. So once you cut up all the pieces, it's really quick to put together. Which is really nice. So that's our lid there. Okay, and then for the side piece here, this measures 3 by 12, and you're going to score it 3, 6, and 9. So that's a really easy piece. And then these two pieces, you'll need two of them, and this measures 5 and 15 sixteenths by 5 and 15 sixteenths, and you're going to score it 1.5 on all four sides. Okay, I'm going to do that to both pieces. Again, just push in the tab and then add your adhesive. And this glue, you know, it's really nice. It doesn't bubble up on the paper and it adheres really quickly, which is really nice. Just feel that together. You can just stretch your edges as well and on the top of your lid you can decorate it with lots of flowers and embellishments and it's really pretty. Okay, let's do the other one here. And it's really nice with double sided paper because again you're, you are going to see both sides of the design. that together. This is um, actually 
um, Graphic 45's paper. And I picked this up at Tuesday morning. It was a pack of 25. And this was a while ago. I can't remember when. But Okay, so now you've got your two boxes. Now you're going to take this piece right here and you're going to put it together. So you're going to first start with the bottom piece right here. And you're going to adhere two sides. And I like the side that doesn't have the, the tabs facing towards me. So it'll be like that. Okay, so the tabs basically are on the sides right here. But it works either way, you know, it's basically up to you how you want to put it together. But it's the same measurement, so. And then just, what I do is I put it on the bottom and then I just do this right here. Make sure it's nice and lined up. And then I just give it a good press. Okay, now we're going to take th the other box and that's going to go on the top. So let's see here, make sure the tabs are on the sides. So just add your glue. Oops. So again, I just line it up like so. It's all nice and lined up. And then again, I just give it a good press. Okay, and then you just close it up like so. And then put your lid. And then you got your box. Really cute. Okay, so that's how you make the three inch size one. And now we're going to make the 4 inch. So I'm going to give you the measurements to that. Um, let's see, the lid right here. This one is 8 and 1 8 by 8 and 1 8. And um, let's see here. Just one second. It's all the same size. Sorry, that's telling my husband something. Okay, so this is eight and one eighth by eight and one eighth, and you're going to score it two inches on all four sides. And again, you're going to add your adhesive to the tabs here. So just add your adhesive here. So, and this you can put lots of embellishments in this one because this is a really nice size box. Let's give it a good press. Okay, so that's going to be the lid. Um, for the sides, it's going to take two pieces because you know when you put it together, it is more than 12 inches. So you're going to need one piece that is four by eight, and you're going to score it four. And then the other piece is four by eight and a quarter, and you're going to score it half a quarter inch and four, four and a quarter. Okay. And then you're just going to adhere the pieces together like so, and then just add your adhesive. those two together. Okay, so we've got that piece. And then we're going to build the two boxes. And then the two boxes, it's going to be 7 and 15 sixteenths by 7 and 15 sixteenths. And you're going to score it again at 2 inches on all four sides. I'm going to do that to both pieces. So let's just build this box. OK. 
Okay. And then let's put that together. Again, give it a good press. And then we'll do the other piece. So we're almost done here. Just add that. So. And if you want to get creative, you can, on the lid, you can um, use your decorative scissors or your edge dies or edge punches and give a little different style to it other than it just being straight. You can give it like a scallop look or whichever punch you have or scissors or die you have. It look pretty. Okay, so those are the boxes. So let's put that. Again, I like the tabs on the sides here. So let's do it like that. Okay. And remember, when you're using um, paper that has like words on it, there is going to be one side that's upside down and one facing right side up. So just remember you put it on the correct side. And then just add your glue. This is um, really pretty paper. I believe this is from an older collection. It's like a Paris theme to it. Okay, so I like to line it up. Just lift it up. Okay, and I'm going to do the other box. And make sure the correct side gets side here. So let's glue that. And you can see, see how fast that was to put together? It's the cutting part takes a little time, but it's worth it. You know, you get a really pretty box at the end. Let's press that. Okay, there you go. So that's the four inch size one. And just place your lid on top. And you got your two boxes. So I hope you give it a try. Um, again, this is really fun to make. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.